Now we'll solve some problems on the emission spectrum of hydrogen. First question. Find the wavelength and frequency of the H beta line of the Balmer series for hydrogen. Now, when you see H beta, you may get scared because the shells start from K. K, L, M, N. Now, here is H beta. H here refers to hydrogen. And Balmer series, they have told you, so it must be jumping to the second level. And beta line, so jumping from 4 to 2. Alpha means jumping from next higher level. Beta means one more higher level. So 4 to 2 is the beta line. This is L beta line, right? So this is nothing but the L beta line jumping from 4 to 2. Right? And they are asking us to find wavelength and frequency. Once we find wavelength, we know frequency because frequency is C by lambda. C equal to F lambda. So we have got 1 by lambda equal to R. 1 by Nf square minus 1 by Ni square. Right? Now, this is jumping from 4 to 2. So Nf is 2, Ni is 4. So 1 by lambda becomes R. 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 4 square. Right? This is nothing but 3 by 16. So 1 by lambda becomes 3R by 16. Therefore, wavelength is 16 by 3R. R downstairs. 1 by R better to memorize. R will be given in the examinations, but 1 by R is more easy to use in calculations. 1 by R is 0.911 into 10 to the power minus 7 meters. So therefore, lambda becomes, this is 5.3 approximately, 1 by r is 0.911 into 10 to the power minus 7. So this will give us approximately 4.9 into 10 to the power minus 7 meters. Right? This is the wavelength. Now to find frequency. How to find frequency? Just divide C by lambda. C is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. And lambda is there. 4.9 into 10 to the power minus 7. So this will be approximately 0.6. So we can say 6.1. 1, we have taken 10 this side. So we will get 10 to the power 14 hertz. So now we have solved this problem. So important thing to remember, L beta line is jumping from 4 to 2. Formula is 1 by lambda equal to R into 1 by Nf square minus 1 by Ni square. So Nf is 2, Ni is 4. So we get this equation. In, when you find the wavelength, you will get 1 by R in the equation. So memorize 1 by R, 0 0.911 into 10 to the power minus 7 meters. And once you get wavelength, you can get frequency. Frequency is nothing but C by lambda and that's how we got frequency. Very simple. Now let us look at one more problem on the emission spectrum of hydrogen. Question is, find the largest and shortest wavelength in the Lyman series for hydrogen. Largest wavelength will be jumping from where to where? Largest wavelength means smallest frequency. Smallest frequency means smallest energy difference. As Lyman series, so jumping to level 1. Therefore, largest wavelength will correspond to jumping from the next immediately higher level. 2 to 1. So 1 by lambda maximum will be equal to R. 
1 by nf square. What is nf here? 1. And jumping from 2. So we get this. So 1 by lambda max becomes 3 by 4. Right? 4 minus 1, 3. And 4 is downstairs. R. So lambda max will become 4 by 3. R. This is 1.33, right? Multiplied by 1 by R, that is 0.911 into 10 to the power minus 7. And this, if you calculate, we'll get this as 1.2 approximately into 10 to the power minus 7 meters. So this is lambda maximum. Lambda maximum means frequency minimum. Frequency minimum means energy difference minimum. Energy difference minimum means jumping from next higher orbit. And that's how we get this answer. Now what is the shortest wavelength? Lambda minimum. Shortest wavelength means maximum frequency. Maximum frequency means maximum energy difference. Maximum energy difference means jumping from infinity to 1. Therefore, 1 by lambda minimum will be equal to R 1 by nf square, that is 1. 1 by ni square. So, you square this or not doesn't make any difference. So, that is infinity. So, therefore, 1 by lambda minimum is equal to R. Lambda minimum will be 1 by r and that's 0 0.911, 10 power minus 7 meter. So this is lambda minimum. So important thing to understand is that when lambda is maximum, frequency is minimum. Frequency minimum means energy difference is minimum, equal to hf, right? If energy difference is minimum, that must jump from the next immediately higher orbit or higher energy level. For lambda minimum, the frequency has to be maximum. If frequency is maximum, energy difference is maximum. If energy difference is maximum, there is to jump from infinity to that orbit. Here infinity to 1. And that is how we get lambda minimum. Just learn the basics correctly. Then every problem is very, very easy. Physics is simple.